Well, welcome back and thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we've got plenty of pillows <laughs> separating us for a very good reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. But let's tell you guys what we have today. Now, we have a guest in the studio, a Nigerian filmmaker, Udwak Patrick. He's a theatre, film, media and entertainment professional with a background in production, management, creative directing for film and television. Yeah. It's so good to have you here. I have so many questions. Of course, we had to bring our movie girl in oh, so yeah. that we could talk. And I know you guys know each other, don't yes, you? Yes, we do. Uh, know what's the story too. behind? You guys did you guys were hey oh. hey <laughs> Mazino, it's still early and it's quite cold i just want to know <laughs> in 2018 you're protesting too much tell us how you guys wow, know each wow. other <laughs> he i went for an audition and he was the casting director okay uh, for battleground african magic and i got the role and that nice. was more like a breakout role for me wow because from then it was just it's just so been thank you very much for this invention it's an honor. We should really not let you speak up for <laughs> Okay, so I'll just let her ask the first questions. Okay. okay. So um how how was the how was the creative industry for you in twenty twenty with the lockdown and mm. the COVID nineteen pandemic as a whole? Okay. Um it's it was it was very challenging, but um there's always there's this thing I believe that is um there is a time for everything. And um that season was one season that I think I enjoyed a lot because it um, gave me an opportunity to sit down and introspect, okay. um, look at everything that we've done, re-strategize, replan, mm. revisit a lot of things that we've done. Um, and I also got the opportunity to make um, a series that we've been working on for years. Okay. So it was, it, was, it was a good time. It was a good time. Mm. Despite the challenges, I, I like... I like where life gives me a balance of everything. We can't have it all good all the yes. time. Yeah. So yes, it was a terrible year, but I'm glad it happened. Yeah, it gave you plenty of time for introspection, didn't yes, it? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. It like was think. a scene of major introspection yeah. for me as a filmmaker. I was asking you a question before we got on, mm -hmm. and uh, I noticed that you're not an actor. I've seen people progress from being actors into being producers, into being directors, but you're just straight up a producer. So I was asking him, actually, I was saying, um, is it absolutely necessary for you to be a, 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 an actor before being a... Is it a necessity or a prerequisite for you to be a, a, a good director? No, no, no. Um, directing has its own, has its own creative process. Mm -hmm. um, it has its own creative process. So... You, you want to be able to have that ability to coordinate the entire creative process. Okay. Because as a director, you're in charge of everything from lighting to costume to makeup really? to the actors to the sets. Um, design. That's too much responsibility. Yes, there's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> nah, so you've got to be able to have that broad spectrum of mind where you can literally see meaning in everything. Mm -hmm. So if I want this flower on set is there a meaning to it mm. is there a reason why i want it to be there is it going to beautify my frame or is it just an object you know mm. you 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 have to be able to think deductively so being a being a director is quite a heavy responsibility it is. and when you choose to become a director when you decide to become a director you know that you are responsible for the film mm. from the story from paper mm -hmm. to audiovisual and beyond. Mm. Yeah. I've got a question for Tokwe actually. <laughs> As an actor, yeah. are you allowed to influence the details of the script? Can you bend it to suit? Because as a voice artist, mm -hmm. I'll have to sometimes add words to yeah. certain scripts to make mm -hmm. it make better meaning. meaning. So I'm wondering whether you're allowed to do that and how directors um, um, see that when actors start to maybe take liberties on scripts. So it's always professional to ask the director, oh, director, I was thinking uh -huh. if I can try this this way or if I can not, instead of saying this, can I say this? Uh -huh. And then the director will tell you if it works for him or, or if it not. doesn't work for him. Edward Norton, for instance, yeah. is very notorious. They say he changes scripts and sometimes the entire movie goes the other goes, way. Goes the other so way. have you met such actors before? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> can, you, can you tell us, Nick? Can you give, give us names. No, we, we name no names. <laughs> We name no names, but I mean, um, I, th I think it's actually a good thing when an actor is able to um, internalize and personalize words because they are in the process of being. You know, this is it's talk, talk by, uh, let's talk, let's take for instance, uh, her current role on African Magic Riona, Abiyua. She gave a wonderful, oh, role. <laughs> <laughs> she gave a wonderful performance when the character lost her child. Oh, you know? and watch. Um, there's some that kind of scene you really cannot as a writer 
properly write how the character will feel. Uh. But when the character now gets into that moment and becomes that person, that person. and is in the process of being that person, mm. that sort of tragedy will bring out certain words, will bring out certain emotions. Yeah. At that point, as a director, I think it's just best to allow the actor be. Mm. You know, it's, it's at that point, she's creating emotions. She's feeling that pain, that hurt, that loss. You know, and the way I like to direct, I like to use action words to direct my, my actors. So what is the actor feeling? What's the, what's the character feeling? Loss. Yes. How do you emote that loss? How do you take that loss and give it life? Mm -hmm. You know, because every moment is pregnant with emotions. Yeah. You know? So you've got to be able to deliver at every point in time. I can see you guys vibing. You're talking, she's <laughs> nodding. You guys are about to make a movie, baby. <laughs> <laughs> No words, no words. Why take you guys not off the show? <laughs> We're doing it. I agree. I'm, I'm done. Ask a question before I say something else. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're in 2021 now. Mm -hmm. um, there's a scare for the second wave and probably lockdown. We do not know. What are your plans for this year? Well, uh, I like to draw inspiration from everything around me. And um, uh, I actually have a story. I've had a story in mind for years now. Mm -hmm. And this second wave is already giving mm -hmm. inspiration to that story. Mm -hmm. So... Whatever happens in 2021, I think we'll be good. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. We'll take it um, in stride one day at a time. Yeah. And um, if we get the opportunity to create more great stuff, we'll create more great is it, stuff. Is it going to influence any of the works that you have coming up with the entire... We've been through a lockdown. We're in a pandemic. I see stories yeah. um, in other countries, like uh, Chiwetel is in one, one... Is it a series or a movie? That I can't remember. But it has to do a lot with... The situation the we current find out, the current situation. So, are any of your works going to, you know, yes. take that form? Yes, it's straightforward. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I, 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 I like the way the world has changed. Yeah. Um, um, the current pandemic has tilted the world in a, in a, <laughs> in a dimension that we have never yeah. experienced before. Um, wearing a face mask is becoming a, a normal. Yeah. It's becoming a norm. And when you don't wear one, you look abnormal. Mm -hmm. You know, I was in Eket um, a few weeks ago and I was riding on a motorcycle and I had my mask on and everybody was just staring at me. I was like, <laughs> yeah, this is what this is. This is what it's supposed to be. So yeah. y'all not wearing mask is very abnormal. Yeah. You know, so um, the elbow handshake, the fist bump, yeah. you know, all of these things are becoming the the new norm and it will be very interesting and it will it will be nice to have those things infused in our content in and in our story sure. 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 um let's see one of your work uh, here on our screen and uh we'll be back to talk about it yes i'm blown away i expected nothing less yes but i was expecting just a normal dinner but this is elaborate it's been up to a month the last time you made love and the whole time while we were at it, you were busy staring at the clock because you had that urgent call to make. For God's sake, it's not fair on me now. Mm -mm -mm. Not now. You're more than willing to pay. Yes, but I need to go to work. Can you just call them and tell them you have a medical emergency? So isn't this a medical emergency enough? A hard on? Yes. But you always interpret every role you play very well. I mean, you're such a good actor. I literally forget that I'm watching Bio Davis and the character just comes alive. Aw, someone is being sweet. Thank you. You listen to me. You glow life bastard. Okay. And I don't care who you are because I down. <laughs> no, that's, that's interesting. That's obsession. Yes, obsession, yes. yes. Uh -huh. oh, okay, I think that's one if when Nada was obsessed yes, if, with the yes, married man. Yeah, yeah, but she was my, uh, obsessed with the married man. Okay, okay. so I, I saw plenty of characters there, plenty of big names, mm. mm -hmm. plenty of egos. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not plenty of not egos. plenty of egos. Creative either. people are very, you know, they, no, no, they are, no, not no, really. No. Actors no, aren't. No, no. I know yeah. she isn't, but she's okay. not. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought that it was an industry filled with people, filled with plenty of egos, and I was wondering how, as a director, you have to manage these egos or these big personalities. Okay, let's say big personalities. People are different. People are different. Um, I, I like to just watch people and study. Okay. And um, I mean, there's always a way to handle someone. Um, the way I vibe with Tokma is not going to be is definitely different from the way. Gonna I bring that question. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh no, you're married. That's true. You got married in 2017. 14. 14. Yes. 14. Okay. Yes. Yeah. He's he's married, guys. He's yes. married. I